Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could make it. So good to see you. Thank you so much for stopping by and joining me for yet another planner video. I'm here with my baby, Miss Cassiopeia, one of my mega happy planners. She is Franken-planned to the gods. And because it is November, I hope you all are having a wonderful November, a wonderful start to your November. We are finally in the penultimate month of the year and I am so excited to move into the holidays and have a little bit of time to relax at the end of the year. We all need it. We all need it. But because it is November, that means, you know what that means, that means that I am going to be uh, flipping through my Mega Happy Planner setup for the month of October, showing you all of the spreads that I made for the last four weeks across all of my planners. And I have, I think, seven happy planners combined into this one mega happy planner. That's why I call her my mega happy planner. Um, she's a Franken planner. She's a hybrid. She has seven different planners in here. I think there's seven. Let me see. Um, let's see. There's, uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight. There's eight planners in here, but one of them kind of... I'm not using anymore and I'll tell you about that when we get to that one so there's technically eight but I only am using seven in here um, and that's why she's so thick she is really thick but yeah I'm gonna be sharing with you my setup for October and how it turned out and after this video I'm gonna do another video um, where I set up my mega happy planner for the month of November which is also one of my favorite videos to film so my favorite videos to film are probably the flip throughs at the end of the month and then the setups at the beginning of the month so if you're interested in seeing my setup for this month just keep on watching All right, so to start with, I have my Mega Happy Planner on these beautiful gold expander discs. They're metal, and the cover is the You Are Made to Bloom Vertical Happy Planner Classic, um, the one with all the florals. And I chose this cover because of the red and orange and yellow color scheme. I thought it was perfect for the fall. And then I have my cover page, um, which this cover page is from the Happy Planner like fitness uh, planner. Let me see if I can pull that out and show you this planner. These cover pages or this cover page and the calendar, the yearly calendar is from this planner right here. And I have that decorated. I have the calendar at a glance. And then this is my yearly overview calendar. I love this calendar so much because I only have one month at a time for every single one of my planners that I have in this mega happy planner. And so I don't even have like the monthly pages for later months. And so if something comes up and I want to make a note of it, but it's not happening in the current month, it's happening next month or later on in the year, I will turn to this calendar and write it down. And then when it's time to set up my November monthlies, I always go back to this particular um, year at a glance and make a note of anything that I need to uh, remind myself of. And my first bookmark I have in this section, and I've titled it Yearly Overview. I have this super cute penguin sticker that I got at the Shed Aquarium in Chicago. And I love decorating this yearly at a glance calendar. And I already have some things going on at the beginning of the year, but the rest of the year is blank. And then I covered up the uh, monthly overview that was on the back of this page because that's how Happy Calendar, Happy Calendar, <gasps> ah, that's how Happy Planner sets up their planners is that they always have the, um, the overview of the first month in the planner on the back of this calendar. And I don't like that. So I just have this covered up with this super cute fall themed scrapbook paper. I have a Mickey Mouse folder. This is from the Oasis collection. And I just have some stationery in here that I like to use and pull for uh, sometimes. And on the back of it, I have some coloring pages for when I feel like coloring. I have some stickers and I have some origami paper that I like to use as scrapbook decoration. And I have another Mickey and Minnie Oasis 
folder here as well i just have some food stickers in there and in the back of it i just have some calendar stickers and um some scrapbook paper and some notes from like a meeting i was in and i just have an envelope with stickers here and this is one of the mickey mouse envelopes and then i have some scrapbook paper super cute this gold foil pumpkin design um and on the back of it i just have some decorative scrapbook paper i wanted to add a little bit of like fall love to my planner so i got the scrapbook paper and i made this little decorative spread there and on the back of that, I just have my sticky note dashboard. And then I have my Happy Planner Solar System table of contents. This was just a fun little spread that I did on some Happy Planner um, lined paper where I just kind of uh, map out all the planners that I use and what, what kind of layout they're in, what the purpose is, and what I eventually want to evolve them into for 2022. I had a lot of fun putting this together. And on the back of it, I just it's just blank. And then I have my Happy Autumn Days Fall 2021 a bucket list. So at the beginning of my Mega Happy Planner, I just have, um, after the table of contents, I just have like a couple of, um, not random, but kind of like extra pages that don't necessarily fit with any of my other planner um, spreads or planners. And those just kind of live at the front of the planner. So this is my fall bucket list. I had a lot of fun putting this together. I've uh, definitely um, checked off a few of my bucket list items so far. And there's the back of the fall bucket list. I had a lot of fun with this. And then more decorative scrapbook paper. I tend to use scrapbook paper to kind of separate all of the sections from each other and add a bit of a... Um, a decorative element to my planner and because we're in the middle of fall all of my scrapbook paper is fall themed and then i have some hourly um schedule uh sheets these are from the mickey mouse oasis collection and i just have a couple of those in here and i have my bookmark here um on a blank one for when i decide that i want to use another daily agenda sheet and um i've already used up all the ones in here that actually have the template but on the back of those pages you just have plain grid paper and i like to map out um, daily agenda um, sheets on this plain grid paper so that's what i did here and there so i'm just leaving those in here until i use up those pages more scrapbook paper um, dividing the next section and this is where this is where the actual um planner section start and i'm going to try to show you the planners that all of these oops i'm gonna try to show you the planners that all of these planners pages come from so this is the first planner in my lineup and she is a skinny mini she is so tiny that i have her kind of bracketed with this scrapbook paper so that way she doesn't get lost and i have my bookmark here as well and these pages came from this skinny mini planner with the wildflower on the front and this thing is so so tiny and so this planner has evolved since the minute i got her i got her for one reason decided that i didn't want to use her for that reason and then i've just continuously evolved her throughout the year i first started off using her as a gardening planner and then she became more of like an affirmations planner and then now she is a prayer planner so i write a prayer every day or an affirmation or just like a gratitude but mostly prayer and so i'll flip through all of the um spreads that i did this month this one was super cute these are Rilakkuma stickers and then this one was fun this was um like a fall themed spread and then this is the current spread because it was halloween week i used some halloween stickers so yeah that was um the spreads for this month and on the last page of the month it always gives you this note section with some lines and i tend to just write a little reflection there so that is the first planner we flip the page we have more scrapbook paper and then i have my sleep section which this isn't a planner i don't use a planner for this i have my bedtime routine um, and then I have my sleep logs, so I don't use a planner for this. I just use regular happy planner paper, and then I just write out some logs. 
and I haven't really been keeping up with this since October the 20th. I just got into this super busy phase of life and I, everything kind of fell to the wayside. But I'm going to try to get back onto this starting today. So those are my sleep logs. I like to keep track of my sleep and study my sleep patterns. So that's why I have my sleep logs. And then we're moving into the second planner section, which is the first classic sized planner in my lineup and the rest of these are classic sized. So this is the fun cover page for this section. This is my academic section. I go to UC San Diego and I have some fall scrapbook paper. I have my class schedule here, which is totally imaginative because I don't actually have classes anymore at this stage of my uh, graduate education, but I tend to structure my day into class-like blocks so that I kind of have um, just structure guiding my my timeline and helping me to get things done. And so this is the class schedule that I've outlined for myself. And then we have more scrapbook paper dividing um, all this stuff from the actual planner pages themselves. So this is the October overview. I just have some big goal items here. And then this is the October divider and the October monthly calendar view. I went with a fall theme for this. This is the first week in October. Again, I went fall themed. And then the second week I went with the happy illustrations, happy planner sticker book. And then the third week I kind of went with this blue theme. And then this is uh, the last week in October. I went with a classic Halloween design. I really liked how this um, spread turned out. And then we have the November overview on the next page, which I will transfer into um, my November setup. And then we go into the third planner section, which is my social justice section. We have my October overview, kind of outlining the big projects that I'm working on. And then we have the October divider. Oh, and I totally forgot to show you the, the planner for uh, my academic section. So my academic section, this one right here, I use an undated vertical Mickey Mouse planner and the pages are from this particular planner. I ended up getting this planner. I actually got like another planner at first for this and then I real and then I found this planner and I loved this planner so much because it has this wonderful like to-do list here on the left hand side in the sidebar and the grid here and I really liked those features and so I went with this one. So these pages are from that planner. And my social justice planner, these pages come from the Stephanie Fleming planner, um, the one that says define your passion, nurture your creativity, and take hold of your dreams. So uh, this is a vertical uh, style planner, as we'll see here in a minute. This is the October overview. And then this is the monthly view. I had a lot going on this month, actually. And then this is the first week in October. And for some reason, I like to use the Colorful Leopard sticker book a lot in this section. I don't know why. <laughs> so all of these spreads are from the Colorful Leopard. And you're going to see these like drawings throughout this section because I am a visual artist as part of my social justice work. And so I do a lot of like sketches and share them on social media. So there was that one, and this is the second week in October. I still haven't finished this little design. I tend to use a lot of mixed media in my work, and stickers are a wonderful form of mixed media. So that's why I like to use stickers. And I spilled coffee at some point on my planner, and so the pages are kind of coffee stained, which is... I actually like the look. This is the third week in October. This was probably my busiest week ever and it's so blank. I feel like I wasn't in here at all. I didn't even try to do my little sketch for the week. So I think I'm gonna go back and try to do this um, at some point this week. And then this is the fourth week in October, Halloween weekend. So I went with some Halloween stickers as well as the colorful leopard stickers. And again, this week was super busy. So I ended up not doing too much for this planner section. And this is my bookmark here. 
And then we have the November overview and we're moving on to my next planner section. This is my world news section. We have my October overview here. Still deciding how I wanna use this, um, this page because I tend to not use it very much. This is the divider for October and these pages come from this particular planner which is the Colorful Leopard Aligned Vertical Planner. Um, so that's the kind of design that we have here. And this is my world news planner. It's my journalism planner. It's where I journal and reflect on what I hear on the news, what articles I'm reading. It motivates me to stay informed, to listen to the radio, to broaden my um, intake of news sources. So this is the first week in October. I went with just um, a random assortment of stickers, honestly, mostly color block um, Mickey Mouse from Happy Planner. This is the second week in October. I was super in my planner for the first couple of days and then completely didn't go into my planner for the last couple of days this week. Same with this week, although I was a little bit more into my planner this week. You can see that I tend to work in it through the weekdays and then when the weekend comes, I tend to not be in my planner as much. And then we have the last week in October. And as you can see, again, I have that same pattern where I like am good about being in my planner and then I just stop being in my planner. But that's fine. Even if I don't fill up every single day, which, you know, sometimes that's not going to happen. Just the fact that I'm able to read a few news, news articles a day or listen to the news for a bit, um, that is already like enough for me to justify having this planner. <laughs> And yeah, so there we go. And then we have the November overview here. And then we have my next planner section. This is my fitness planner. So we have scrapbook paper. Um, and then I always paper clip the scrapbook paper to the monthly overview so that we don't have like a random week um, just kind of thrown in there. And I tend to do this like uh, workout challenge every month and it just did not go well last month. So we're just gonna ignore that. So these planner pages are from the Happy Planner Rong Rong Fitness Planner. This was the first Happy Planner that I ever got. This is the first one. And I got it in November the 15th. Wow, November the 15th. My Happy Planner anniversary is coming up. And I was so motivated when I got this planner. Do you see how much I worked out? Watch, check it out. I got the planner on Sunday and then I totally just like was so good at working out oh my god look how much i worked out and i was running like five miles twice three times um a week i was just so so into this planner do you see this i was just like discovering a whole new world and oh i need to get back to this this was so good do you see how good i was oh my god Ugh, i need to get back into this I have not been like that um, since probably like August, July maybe. Like it's been a while since I've, I've worked out that hard. Anyways, um, and look at this month, <laughs> look at my October monthly calendar. I need to get back into decorating these October monthly calendar pages. I feel like that really motivated me. Um, I felt I stopped doing that. I stopped decorating these pages because I felt like it was kind of redundant to like what I was doing here. But I think I think it's fine to be redundant in some cases, especially when it comes to workout. Like if I run five miles, I want to like shout it from the rooftops. I want to tattoo it on my body. I want to write it in the exercise page or section of the weekly and I want to write it in the calendar view. So this was the first week in October. Because a Rong Rong um, fitness planner kind of alternates between this blue th accents and pink accents from month to month, I tend to um, use like blue or cool tone stickers whenever the month has the blue accents. So that's why I have a lot of blue stickers and blue um, colors and, and yeah, as you can see, I do tend to stay in my planner. At the very least, I'll definitely keep track of what I'm eating and my caloric intake, stretching, water, all of that, my steps. But in terms of workout, 
it's been it's been kind of minimum it's been like i think the hardest workout i did this month was like a three mile run yeah and for me i used to do like five mile runs like twice a week and i would do like eight mile hikes every weekend <laughs> i've just been so busy with work that i have just kind of neglected my fitness and as you can see some of the weeks i was just like absolutely not in here and then this was the last week in october and i started to get back into it um i went on a 3.37 mile run on saturday and a 2.3 mile run on thursday and almost an entire mile on monday and i walked for 50 minutes on wednesday and an hour and 20 minutes on tuesday so i have been you know like doing something but like i said if you're used to like a really intense workout regimen this for me is like very very minimal and my body doesn't feel good just doing that amount of um of workout something that i've been enjoying recently um that i used to do but then i kind of stopped was every time i have a green smoothie for a meal i'll like kind of draw it out to like show myself that like i've been e i was eating healthy so that's what you see there and then again like i tend to be really good about writing my stuff down from monday through friday and then once we hit like friday saturday sunday things just kind of like i'm not in my planner i'm kind of relaxing and just being out and about <laughs> and then we have the monthly overview for november here and then we have the next planner section we have scrapbook paper um, paper clipped to the monthly overview and i really love how my monthly overview turned out for this section um, i've been kind of struggling with how i want to set up my monthly overview for this particular section and this is my household section and the planner that these pages come from is this dashboard this is the adventure awaits uh, dashboard planner i love this one so much this was um, the planner that i started the year with in terms of the cover like i had this cover on my planner for like five or six months before i switched it up and i still love this planner it covers so much it's so gorgeous and i'm gonna hold on to her for forever because i definitely see myself wanting to use her again but um this was the october divider and then this is the october calendar view and i tend to kind of use this one rather sparsely i'll write down any notes in here that i kind of want to remember or like anything that i need to plan for that's related to my household goes here like if i want to do a garage sale i'll put that here um days that i end up doing water changes in my aquariums i'll write down days that i change my filter in my aquarium i'll write down because um that's like it's important for me to remember when i change the filter in my aquariums and this is the first week in the month and i just went with a fall theme i have my little grocery list here like i said this is my household planner so everything that has to do with my household um things that go into making my home run smoothly goes into the section so this has to do with chores meal prep um that kind of stuff and sometimes i put self-care in here as well but i've been kind of playing around with um moving self-care to another planner so this is mostly like uh household stuff and i've been kind of out of my house for the last two three weeks because i've been cat sitting here and there um kind of back to back and so um a lot of these spreads have been kind of plain and empty because i just haven't really been home so then we have the november monthly and then this is the seventh planner in um the seventh planner in my happy planner and i don't have like a divider dividing it because oh and i totally lied at the beginning of the video i said that the rest of the planners after that skinny mini in the beginning were classic but i lied this one is a classic skinny and she's my garden planner and i don't have a scrapbook paper separating her from the other sections because she's kind of like part of the household planner like my home and my garden kind of go together and so that's why i kind of have it here i mean it's separate enough that i wanted to have like a separate section for it but it is um it's not separate enough to like have a whole divider section dividing it 
and the reason why I don't really like count it right now is because I'm not using it and the reason I'm not using it is because I'm moving soon so I got the news that I needed to move out of my house um, let's see like a month and a half ago and since then I've been kind of deconstructing my garden that was in the backyard because I need to leave the property you know as I found it which means like not having like a garden like in the backyard and so I, I built like a whole structure surrounding the garden and so I needed, I needed to tear that down I needed to return the property to how it was before so that means like tearing down all the structures that I built so I actually haven't been gardening at all. I've been actually tearing down my garden. And so that's why I haven't been using my little gardening planner, which makes me so sad because gardening is like one of my favorite things to do. And I can't wait to get into my new home and start gardening again. So I left the section in here in case I wanted to like use it because I still have like some container plants that technically belong to my garden but i just have been so unmotivated to be in my garden planner because i'm like tearing down my garden right now so i'm probably just gonna take this out until i move into my new house and i start planting and sowing seeds again and then the last section is my budget section this is all my financial information stuff and for this planner i use this particular planner here which is the good things happen to those who budget the savvy saver budget planner from the happy planner for some reason this planner came on metal discs and like they never like give metal discs out i feel i feel like 90 percent of their planners are on plastic discs but this one came on these gorgeous bright blue metal discs but anyways i'm not gonna flip through this one because it's just like has too many too much in financial information in it i will show you though um like at the back of the planner i have an envelope that i hold like receipts and like some you know financial document information stuff and a folder which i got from a budget accessory pack and so I popped that in there in case I wanted to tuck anything in there. And then I have um, a bookmark and just some extra like paper, um, different kinds of paper. And I spilled a coffee on this planner at some point. And so it's some of it is all, uh, some of the pages are really coffee stained. And actually this page I'm gonna pop here. And that is the entire flip through of my mega happy planner for the month of October. I hope you enjoyed that flip through. I had so much fun flipping through it. And now I'm going to set up um, my mega happy planner for the month of November. So I hope you stay tuned and catch that video when it comes out. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for your support and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.